Alright, this video is for placing the LCD screen in a Dell Studio 1555. First, pull the battery. Then, you gotta unsnap the front face. Now, start here and just gently pull out. It should all come unclipped. that off. There's two screws here and here. <coughs> Smaller Phillips screwdriver should do the job. Now there's screws right next to it. You don't want to do those. You want to just loosen the frame for the LCD screen so we can get to the screen itself. So the corner screws. Now it's loose. You don't have to undo the whole thing. You can now reach on either side. There's a screw here and here and on these sides as well. <clears throat> so you don't want to pull down too far because it's flexing down here. So we'll start by from the small screws, the ones in the bottom. Now to the top. What you're doing is there's a metal frame holds the LCD in place. And these are the screws that remove the frame to keep the LCD screen in, in the frame. Now Back behind here, this part will come off with a very little effort. It should slide out. Now the first thing to do is unhook this. This plug comes right out. Make sure you can see that. And you do that just so you can lay it down. Now down here. There's a little tab that moves these little hinges for the... Let's see, let's see. So it was like this in the up position. This unlocks it and then you can use this to pull, to pull the plug out. There. Now mine's taped fast so what we have to do is, is gently take it apart from the LCD screen. Go. There. And it's just stuck there to keep it in place. So now we'll take the old LCD screen off. There we go. And now we'll get the new one that I ordered from LaptopScreen.com. They seem like the best place. I use them to figure out exactly which screen I needed for the job. So we'll do it in the opposite order. First we'll plug this in. 
I don't want to stick the tape down yet because I want to figure out where this needs to go first. So you do this the same way, just backwards. You shove it in place gently. Oops. Make sure it's lined up right. Keep flipping it. There, and you'll see it's seated. Then you flip it back up. And now let's get it in place. Alright, so that's where it's going to be. Once you know, you can push down the sticky if yours has it. There. Just line it back up. Go, and it'll stick right in the place. Now, I want to. Put, I will put in the other four screws to hold this in place before doing. Before plugging that other plug in, just for convenience. I do the top ones first, just makes everything easier, I think. Now, here's what these screws look like. You'll see they're just little screw things. Now there's also little pegs in the center that slide into the LCD. Just now do the other side. You don't want to tighten them too much, it's not really necessary. Just get them snug. Yeah, doing the top ones first makes the bottom a lot easier. Alright, this is the Dell Studio 55, if I didn't mention that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, here, now we just plug this back into place. There we go. Now I can make sure everything is good under here and the routing of the cables are okay. We don't want anything pinched. You can push it back up should slide right into place. Now with the frame in place, put these two screws back in. Oops, I dropped one. That corner and then this corner. Can you see all that? Yep. Alright. Again, you don't want to tighten those too much. Okay. Looks pretty good. Now we we'll snap the our shell back on or the frame here and this is just you do it the opposite I like to start at the bottom since that's where we ended there's no trick to it and just snap the hinges in snap the hole in the base now I put my hand behind so I'm not flexing the laptop screen too much while I'm snapping it in place. You want to just take it easy, you're all dealing with plastic clips here. 
it's not the end of the world if one of them breaks because they're very redundant and there you go all done